course it just starts raining. Um, but I just wanted to come check out the fence. So they started pounding the poles in today. There will be like cross um, welded poles on there, but it's gonna go all the way down. So all of this will be pole, or pipe, sorry, and it will match everything in the corral, um, which is exciting. You come to check it out with me? Yes. And then um, the entrance where we're gonna have the gate, they got the two poles up. Let me flip this around. They got the two poles up, but they haven't done the cross, the part on top. So, kind of fun. And then we'll have a gate that goes all the way across. Like I said, this will all be pipe. So, it will all match. And it will last forever, which is nice, because currently, the corral boards and the railroad ties um, some of them are rotting out, which happens with wood, but... Oh my! Well, hello! We've got the calves in here right now. The, um, corral project kind of came out of nowhere. So, these are the calves that are, um, being sold. And they're waiting to go to their new homes. So, as you can see, like, the way this is leaning, um... They're just starting to fail. So this um, water trough in here, there's a like a frost free and it never worked. And so Keith was in there trying to fix it the other day and it just, it actually wasn't even connected. So um, through here, this is like our alley that we use to sort. And when we flush them out of the trailer, they come in through this alley, which is behind this section of the corral. And you can see they took all those boards out. So. You're pounding in the post. Since the kids have them every single Thursday, this was the first Thursday that it was actually cold and they're outdoor lessons. Um, when we started doing lessons as a family, we did them somewhere else and it was in an indoor arena, which was nice. Um, and then this little local place that we had been on the wait list for, I think it's been like over a year or a year at least. Um, and so now they're going there. Um, and the kids like it, huh? So show them your helmets. These helmets I get so many questions on um, when the kids are riding the horses at home. They wear these helmets. So they look like cowboy hats, but they're like on the inside, it's a helmet. Um, and they are, it's the brand Resistol, and they're called Ride Safe. So everybody always asks, but they're, they're helmets, they're not just hats. system that we have down there, put them in the trailer, bring them up into the corral system up here. Today is a full day. I've got piles of laundry that I've been avoiding for weeks that I need to catch up on. So I've got the laundry, I made the bread yesterday, um, I'm still dairy free and egg free for the time being. Um, so I think I talked about it a little bit. One of my I think I touched on it, but I didn't really talk about it, and then I planned on doing, like, a whole video about, like, my health journey, um, just because a lot of people ask. Not that, like, my health journey is the same as everybody else's, but sometimes you just, you start to hear other people talk about certain things, and you're kind of like, hmm, 
maybe I've got some of that going on too and it's just worth exploring. It's not worth like assuming you have the same thing, but it's worth like trying to figure out maybe if you can take little pieces of somebody else's story and plug it into yours uh, with the help of like your naturopath or functional medicine doctor or doctor, whatever you're into. So anyways, um, I did a liver cleanse. Let's see, it was nine days long and it ended Thursday. So today's Sunday. Um, so just a couple days ago it ended. But um, I actually feel like that made a big difference. So I've been seeing a functional medicine doctor for a while now. I think it's not quite a year, but almost a year. Um, maybe it is a year. I don't know. Anyways, it's not been like a long, long time. But she's run a bunch of tests. So we've done like blood tests, which everybody like kind of talks about it. But like a naturopath or a functional medicine doctor, they'll do like similar blood work to like a generic doctor but they'll look at it at deeper levels so they'll ask for like an Epstein-Barr virus panel to be done um or like different things they'll just look at like they'll look at it at a more like broad scope than like narrowing down to like your cholesterol and this and that and the other they're gonna like really look at it at like a more deeper level to make sure that like overall your body is working um but there's more to it than just blood tests um so i've done a food sensitivity test which came back and said that i was sensitive to kiwi broad bean carp fish almonds i think that was it oh and gluten like cannot have gluten um which we already don't because keith has had celiac since we found out in 2017 so we've been pretty much gluten free for a long time but Anyways, I did that food sensitivity test, and then I did an adrenal, I did a hormone test, an adrenal test, um, a toxin test, so that shows like if you have mold in your system, heavy metals, that sort of thing, which I have both, um, and the adrenal test showed that my cortisol levels were pretty high, and uh, my hormone test showed that I was like all testosterone, so definitely out of whack. And then I did a gut test because after all of that, I just felt like I really wasn't getting to the source of what was wrong. So we did the gut test and it showed I had parasites, which a lot of us do. And then it showed that my body is not like digesting fats. So um, that was interesting. And then it showed that I had like very low stomach acid and um, that my colon and my liver were like inflamed. They had like an inflammatory marker. It was like green to red, mine were in the red. So like there's very like telltale signs in there that like things aren't working. Um, which is always like little tools, right? Like nothing is like definitive, like okay, this is like, this is it. I'm just going all in on this. It's like little pieces of, in your tool belt where you know like this is something I'm sensitive to and I have this in my body and da 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 so it's kind of like a puzzle like you're trying to like piece everything together to make sure that you feel your best and that your body's like functioning at the best level that it possibly can so um then after a while I was like okay I'm still not feeling good I've eliminated the food sensitivities I have also like taken into huge consideration mold so I stopped having coffee because coffee can have mold in it even like the mold free stuff I just was like okay let's just stop and see how I feel um which was super interesting because over the summer I kind of was like because I love coffee so over the summer I was like mm, is this hocus pocus or like I'm just gonna have coffee you know my arms like all down my arms broke out in like so many zits and like rashes almost it was bizarre stopped having coffee it went away so I'm just I'm like okay no more coffee um peanut butter is another one I really loved peanut butter but it can have a lot of mold so stopped having peanut butter now I make my own like cashew butter but so everything's just been like a trade and then with like heavy metals you can do like a heavy metal detox so try and get those out and then being conscious of what you're cooking with, you know? Are you using wood? Are you using glass? Like, what are you storing your food in? Not storing, like, onions in plastic bags because that can leach BPA into your onions. So it's just, like, this long-term journey of, like, little pieces that you're learning and you can kind of, like, 
this works for me and this doesn't, but like in terms of your body, not just like your preference. So then I kind of was like, I found the medical medium on Instagram and he was talking a lot about acne, which like a month ago I had horrible like flare up where it was just zits all right here, all in my forehead, never had acne like that in my life. I could cover it really well, but it was super painful because it would like make rashes around my mouth. So I know for a fact from my testing that I had Epstein-Barr virus. So the medical medium was kind of talking about how like carrying eggs can like exacerbate like Epstein-Barr virus or streptococcus and cause acne. So I immediately was like, okay, I'm going to eliminate eggs and dairy. And that was three Sundays ago. And like within a week, my acne had like totally died down. Um, and then in his book, he has... A whole thing on a liver cleanse so I was like you know what I'm just gonna do it so I did the liver cleanse and I saw a huge difference in my body so next I'm doing a parasite cleanse and just addressing those parasites because I know from my testing that I have them and like if you do a long little trail search of parasites um, you know a lot of people believe that parasites can become cancer or you know it's just not good for you to have like an overload of parasites in your body because it's just they leach all of your nutrients and everything so that will be my next cleanse it's just been, it's been a lot I'm super tired I think a lot of people are always like well what's your symptoms like why would you even be thinking to go to an naturopath or a functional medicine doctor and it started with heart flutters a trip to the ER where they were like no you're totally fine but I knew I wasn't totally fine um, and then I found out that I had like inflammation in my body, which was an indicator that like something was wrong. Um, so, and then after a while I just was like so tired, like so, 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 so tired. I could barely like function and that's just not my personality. So it was just a huge like red flag that something was wrong. Um, and then the fatigue turned into like extreme bloating where every time I would eat I would get like huge belly where it would look like I was like six months pregnant and then um just like the weird acne on my arms and my face and um just there's just a bunch of stuff but those were the big ones that were kind of like okay these are abrupt sudden changes like my body's telling me something's wrong so no those are clean and you're dirty no Anyways, I better get back to folding laundry. Somebody's on their way to look at a heifer. Um, and then we have a lot of things to do today. Kids don't have school tomorrow. Yay. We have work. So it's just a lot. It's just a lot. Time to go down the hill, find oh. those two cows. What? Oh, eat. Oh, eat. We gotta fill up some tires because these tires are always going flat. Like that. Well, we have another green bull. Website and we just always called her Ella's mom. But both of them are going to new homes. So we just pulled them off the pasture. This temporary little corral that we set up with all of our extra panels has come in so handy. This is how we gathered our two sets of calves. And then these two cows that we've sold makes life way more simple because all of this 
it's just open. So we'd have to drive them from down here all the way up the hill. That's what we did last year. And it was really hard. Really hard. But this makes it way more manageable. So now we gotta get the truck and trailer. Yeah. Alrighty. We are taking Polly, who is our Oh my gosh, I hate when they, the horses, when they lay like that and I look like they're dead. Um, we were taking Polly down the hill because um, we just got a deposit on her and they want her pasture exposed. So we're gonna put her in the trailer, take her down, and then those two cows that we have in our temporary corral, we're gonna bring them up and put them in this corral. And then when's that lady coming, Friday? Friday. All while the corral is still being worked on. It is the world's worst timing, but it is what it is. We have to get that one. 